वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वाई ह्यूमन एरर इवेल्युएशन एंड कंट्रोल इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री द ह्यूमन एरर इवेल्युएशन एंड कंट्रोल इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज द ग्रेट मेजोरिटी ऑफ रिपोर्टेड डिफेक्टिव मेडिसिनल प्रोडक्ट्स हैज रिजल्टेड फ्रॉम ह्यूमन एरर और केयरलेसनेस नॉट फ्रॉम फेल्यूअर इन टेक्नोलॉजी रेफरेंस एम एच आर ए ऑरेंज गाइड टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर द फाइव कॉमन रीजंस फॉर ह्यूमन एरर्स इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री फाइव कॉमन रीजंस फॉर ह्यूमन एरर्स इन फार्मा इंडस्ट्री आर फर्स्ट लैक ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एंड एजुकेशन सेकंड कम्युनिकेशन ब्रेकडाउन कम्युनिकेशन बैरियर और कम्युनिकेशन एरर थर्ड फटीक एंड ओवर फोर्थ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस एंड सिस्टम्स एंड फिफ्थ डिस्ट्रैक्शन एंड मल्टीटास्किंग What should be the corrective and preventive actions in case of same person is doing mistakes repeatedly? In such cases, we can identify and implement following corrective and preventive actions. First, reassessment of training and competency. Second, implementing supervision and oversight. Third, addressing workload and fatigue. Fourth, root cause analysis and fifth, process simplification and automation. What is purpose of human error trending? Human error trending in the pharmaceutical industry involves analyzing patterns of human errors to identify problem areas understand their root causes and implement proactive measures for improvement human error trending can be used in making decisions allocating resources effectively enhancing employee training and fostering a culture of accountability what is importance of training in avoiding human errors in the pharmaceutical industry training helps employees to improve the knowledge and skills they need reduces confusion and establishes consistent procedures proper training ensures compliance with regulations lowers risk boosts confidence and encourages problem solving techniques it also helps employees stay updated with industry changes and training cultivates a culture of competence and accountability leading to safer and higher quality pharmaceutical processes what are some psychological factors that can lead to human errors psychological factors includes fatigue stress lack of focus distractions pressure to perform or confidence task complexity and inadequate training Which questions shall be asked during personal interrogation with the person who has done human error? Following questions can be included during personal interrogation. First, can you describe the sequence of events that lead to error during the batch processing? Second, were there any factors such as distractions or environmental conditions that may have contributed to the error? Third, how familiar were you with the procedures and requirements for the task you are performing? Fourth, did you communicate with anyone else during the process where there any miscommunications fifth were there any challenges with equipment tools or materials that might have influenced the error sixth at what point did you realize the error had occurred and how did you respond seventh based on this experience what recommendations do you have to prevent similar errors in the future which investigation tool is used for human errors investigation in pharmaceutical industry yy investigation tool is the most commonly used investigation tool for root cause analysis for human errors this technique involves repeatedly asking why to dig deeper into the chain of events and uncover the root cause of a problem fishbone diagram or ishikawa diagram is an alternative tool which evaluates into different branches such as people process equipment environment and more to systematically explore the sources of errors what is impact of human errors on the pharmaceutical industry human errors can have significant negative impacts on the pharmaceutical industry they can lead to compromised product quality safety concerns for patients regulatory violations and damage to industry's reputation thus preventing human errors through proper training and processes is essential to maintaining the industry's integrity and ensuring the health and safety of patients how can process complexity can lead to human errors 
procedural complexity can contribute to human errors by making tasks more difficult to understand and execute when procedures are complex employees might feel stressed leading to confusion or mistakes complex steps increases the chances of overlooking critical details misinterpreting instructions or skipping essential checks simplifying procedures and providing clear guidance can help to reduce errors and improve overall performance what eu gmp state about human errors in pharmaceutical industry where human errors is suspected or identified as a cause this should be justified having taken care to ensure that process procedural or system based errors or problems have not been overlooked if present reference chapter number 1 of the european gmps which are the environmental factors that can contribute to human errors environmental factors may include workplace noise and distractions inadequate lighting and visibility high workload and time pressure insufficient rest and fatigue complex procedures and equipment which factors may contribute to human errors following factors may contribute to human errors badly designed or faulty equipments poor management practices inaccurate or incomplete procedures inadequate or inappropriate trainings which are the four categories of human errors first errors of omission that is forget to do something second errors of commission that is doing the task incorrectly third sequence error that is following wrong sequence or out of order task and fourth timing errors that is too slow too fast or too late activities how can automation technologies minimizes human errors in pharmaceutical processes these technologies like robotic arms and computer controlled machines can accurately measure ingredients mix compounds and package medications without getting tired and distracted since machines follow programmed instructions they are less likely to make mistakes caused by human factors like fatigue or lapses in concentration this improves quality and consistency of pharmaceutical production making medicines safer and more reliable for patients how can use of checklist contribute to reducing human errors a checklist is like a step by step guide that people can follow to make sure they don't forget important tasks when working on complex processes like in pharmaceuticals checklist remind workers about every important action that they needs to be done this stops them from skipping or mixing up steps that could lead to mistakes how can continuous training and retraining help to prevent human errors when people keep learning and practicing they become more skilled and confident they learn about new methods tools and safety measures that can help them to avoid mistakes also retraining reminds them of things they might have forgotten over time how can fatigue and workload impact human errors in the pharmaceutical industry feeling very tired that is fatigue or having too much to do that is heavy workload can make people make mistakes in the pharmaceutical industry when tired thinking and reacting becomes slower leading to errors in the task like measuring and labeling medicines having lots of work in short time can stress people making them forget important steps in both cases mistakes might happen it is important to manage work hours take breaks and have enough staff to lessen these problems what are the challenges in predicting and preventing human errors predicting and preventing human errors can be challenging because people are unique and can behave in unexpected ways it is hard to know exactly when and how a mistake might happen also factors like stress tiredness and distractions can influence how someone performs tasks even with training and precautions error can still happen what is rft and how it can minimize human errors in the pharmaceutical industry the rft that is right first time concept in the pharmaceutical industry refers to a quality principle where processes are designed and executed in a way that minimizes errors and defects from the occurring overall 
the RFT concept aims to create a culture of precision, attention to detail, and proactive error prevention, resulting in improved product quality, regulatory compliance, and overall efficiency within the pharmaceutical industry. Last and very useful question: Which guidelines are commonly referred for handling human errors in the pharmaceutical industry? Following five guidelines are commonly referred for handling human errors in pharmaceutical industry. First, FDA's guidance on good manufacturing practices. Second, ICHQ9. Third, ISP Good Practice Guide. Fourth, WHO Technical Report Series Number 961, Annex 7, and fifth, PIX Guideline. Keep watching Farmgo. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.